Now, as you may know, AI has been on the rise for the past couple of years, especially these few recent years. Now you must be confused and wondering that now that there are a lot of tools just to do one simple task, which one would be best? And that is why I am making this video to show you yet another amazing tool to generate art with AI. And this is one of those tools where if you start using it, you wouldn't need to buy a subscription of Midjourney or any other AI tool. So let's get right into our video. And the tool which we're gonna use is, as you can tell by the title, Adobe Firefly. If you just search Adobe Firefly on the Google, this is the first link which you have to open up. And now once you are here on their official page, you have to sign in first to your account. If you don't already have one, just sign up. And then on the bottom, if you scroll down, you will see get Adobe Firefly free. If you click on that, and there all you had to do was click one button and you have Adobe Firefly. Isn't that amazing? You didn't have to pay for anything and you didn't have to add a credit card as well. And here on the main page, we have a search bar where we can generate our images. If you type anything here, for example, it gave us a basic prompt to begin with. So you didn't even have to type anything on your first arrival on their website, which is crazy. No one else does that. And I am happy that they have put such a feature. So if I just click this generate button, it will generate arts for us. And it will also show you that generative AI in Adobe apps for example, if you're using Photoshop, you can also have that feature there as well. So click on agree. And here we have a stunning art. If you see the prompt, this was the prompt that they gave us. And this is the image which it generated. I think that looks mind blowing. The quality of this art is insane. I haven't seen this sort of detailed art on another AI platform. And I am mind blown with my very first try on this. Now, why don't we go ahead and try something of our own? Write a prompt which will get us crazy arts with our own prompts. And for that, I have come across a very good trick that I'm gonna show you. If you open ChatGPT and also install this extension on your browser, which is ARPM, I think it's AIPRM. And once you go to browser and search for this, you have to open the second link with Chrome Web Store so you can add it to your browser as an extension. And since I already have it, it wouldn't say get for me, but if you come here, you will have this option where you can add it to your browser. And once it's done, your chat GPT will look sort of like this. And here, simply search for mid journey. The reason we are searching for mid journey is because this model is used to create prompts for generating images and has a lot of thumbs up and users, meaning it is proven to work and creates nice prompts. So if you click that and just give a very simple idea that it can base the prompts off there, all I have to do is write five or four words and it gave me some nice different prompts. So I'm going to copy from there to the start. And if I come back to the Adobe Firefly, I can paste that prompt here. And if I click on the try prompt button, it will present us with a number of images. And here we have our fairy house, which looks crazy. Like if I open this image, you can see the detail in this picture. There is no morphing or distortion. Everything is pixel perfect in this picture and looks stunning. I think the resolution is already great. So you don't even have to upscale it unlike other AI platforms. So out of the box, it comes with a high resolution image, which you can simply download and share with your friends or post anywhere you would like. Now, if we have a look at one of the other images, they all look very good and outstanding. And I can also customize the prompt here if I just say add people in this and it will give us new prompts that will be based upon that one but with the addition of a change. So now if I copy prompt through here, Adobe Firefly and paste the prompt, you can customize it even further if you would like. I'm not gonna customize it, I'm just gonna make it shorter so we can do that as well. Then you can click on the generate button. But also there are some settings here if you look on the left panel, you can see aspect ratio. Currently it's selected as widescreen, but you can also do portrait if you're looking for mobile friendly resolutions. So portrait three by four is the best for that. And then there is content type. Currently it's selected as art, but you can also choose photo, which is interesting, meaning you're gonna have a realistic picture with this. And there are a structure, styles, effects, and there are a lot of things you can do with this tool, which is amazing. Currently we have hyper-realistic 
reflected as the effects. But I'm not going to change any of this and click on the generate button so we can see the new image we are trying to create. And now we have another image with some people in this. And by people, obviously, I mean fairies. So we have those here as well and you can see them. And this is also in the 4x3 format. So this is mobile friendly as well. And I think this art looks amazing as well. This looks very gorgeous. Let's know down in the comments what do you guys think about this tool. And now if I were to give it a very generic prompt just for testing purposes, let's see what kind of image we get from here. We can also go ahead and try the photo content type this time. So if we click there and then click on the generate button. Now the crazy part about this tool is if you write a prompt, it will give you suggestions that you can select. And here we have posing in studio behind glass. That sounds like a good prompt and holding a bow and arrow. Wow, I couldn't have thought of that. I mean, honestly, this is crazy. Like if I just select this and click on the generate button and here we have some nice images of an anime looking character with a bow and an arrow. And all of these look absolutely stunning. Like if you see the shine on his armor and the arrows that are behind him and then the bow is looking good as well. And if we have a look at some of the other images, they all look outstanding. Like, look at the quality in this image. This looks like just out of a new animation. So let us know down in the comments what you guys think. That's all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>